All right, and we would like to play first. This is a first turn Bob with a swords up. I don't think I'm going to turn that down. Possibly a second turn knight with a swords up. Oh, we're short of land for a swords up. What am I doing? Yeah, this is a first turn Bob, so... We're going to play that, and because he could be playing Nature's Claims, I am going to get rid of this, and I'm not going to play the second one. But I will get the Scrubland. And that means that if he does do Nature's Claim, we at least have the sword up still. There's a Heritage Druid. That Maze of it is actually entirely pointless. The Heritage Druid, we can let sit for a moment. Uh, I wish that that had not been a knight. Hmm. Let's offer the trade and see what he does. The reason we're offering the trade here is because if he, does, if he did block, we would have been able to just play the knight. Uh, because he didn't block, we aren't able to do that. Let's see. If he plays a land, two guys, he gets three, he goes nuts. So we just pass the turn. We're not playing the diamond because we can play it at any point in time. Ever wish you had a mana tithe? That's where I did. We will sort to Zelf now. There's no point in us taking pointless damage. So he knows that we have the library. We are going to thought season. Let's figure out what's going on over there. We don't have anything else to do. We need to figure out now. Uh, so let's see. He's got Zenith. Zenith. The glimpse is the only thing in there that we actually see and we're truly terrified about. But at the same time, he can just Zenith and then play Zenith for one, going to get Heritage Druid, play his land, play the Query and Dryad, Zenith for two. Um, but that doesn't accomplish as much as he may want. Hmm. So he can't exactly afford to let it go. And at the same time, we can't exactly afford to let him have this glimpse that's only got two creatures available to it. I mean, we could take the visionary, but then we're just kind of sitting there waiting for him to do stuff. Yeah, I think we take the glimpse. We do offer the trade again, because then if he does that, he can only Zenith once. And we play the library. That'll give us a little bit deeper selection into possibly finding removal to deal with him. Uh, Bob has done a number to us, so we have to be careful about that. So there's the land, here's the visionary, or the zenith for one, my apologies. Into the dryad, or the ranger, whatever, the quarian. Now the question is, does he go for the Zenith for two? Our best look here would be Jit into land. 
So he is going for the Zenith for two. Oh, nope, playing the Visionary. And he did get one. All right. Since we've already hit one Heritage Druid, oh crap. Is he going for it? He's got a Zenith in hand. He could Zenith for two, but I don't know what that gets him right now. I guess it gets him Wirewood Symbiote. Does he have another one drop? Or he could just untap that? Replays it, then he has three mana. Okay. exactly in the healthiest of conditions over here. This is where land deed for one would be amazing. Granted we go back down to two lands, but Yay, it's a land. And nothing that's useful. That's unfortunate. Uh, we play the land, we play the bird that gives us three blockers. Knight's somewhat relevant at that size, so. Put back those two. Don't really want to keep either of them in just in case. Land. Bird. And night. And if anybody ever tells you the modal lag is not annoying, they're a liar. So, he now does not know what's in our hand. The other part about that symbiote, if they can, they just return visionaries on their turn because it means that they draw extra cards. Yeah. We're going to F6 at this point, and I'm going to let you guys see what he does. Um, things to note, that visionary is now a draw 2. Any additional nettle sentinel is almost free mana. Remind you, reminder, he uh, still has one activation with the Wirewood Symbiote. I am pretty much sure that unless a miracle happens, I'm dying very shortly. Next turn, if not this turn somehow. Um, yeah, I don't think he can do it this turn. But we will be dying soon. They wonder the choice between the glimpse and the zeniths and everything else. What was the correct choice? It's probably the uh, visionary. If he doesn't, if he does zenith zenith, then yeah, he has it, but he doesn't draw a card. Um, 
And if he glimpses, he's only got one, maybe two creatures in hand. And he doesn't have a real mana producer down. So I guess that probably would have been the better choice. But for the most part, yeah, this is... This is bad. For lack of a better word. And I'm not sure if he's channeling up to Emrakul right now, or... There we go. I was going to say, like, is he trying to get up to Emrakul mana, or is, does he actually play the Regal Force? So his hand is now most of... Well, 17 cards, and... I was going to say most of his deck, but that's not exactly true. It's about a third of his deck. Oh. What else will he do? Our 5-5 five, five knight without trample is not as strong as his army of 1-1s. One Remember that. Second nettle sentinel, which means that... Is he out of... I was going to say, he can't be out of stuff. If his timer goes down too low, I will concede the game just because my opponent has won it. And then after that, I'll see if I can get anything else going. He seems to be kind of harboring in the two mans according to what I'm seeing. So, yeah, now everything is pretty much free for him. So I'm going to avoid doing a two-man and check out the practice room and see what happens there. Possibly get another deck to take a look at and kind of look at that matchup. This matchup is not the worst and not the best. Uh, it is a combo deck at heart, and that's something that you have to remember. Even if it's a creature-based combo, it's a combo deck. So you have to kind of pay attention to things and realize, hey, look, these aren't going to be the best of matchups. Um, the fact that we sweep the first one out... I'm surprised. Um, I honestly thought that it was pretty much over when he blew up the jit and that he was going to go off shortly after, but luckily he wasn't able to and we were able to deal with him. I do plan on doing a corrective commentary for anything that I put up just to kind of show off and basically explain where I noticed that I screwed up. And you guys are always welcome to tell me. I definitely want to know what you would have taken uh, the glimpse of nature or <laughs> There's the Emrakul. Yeah. And we're at 12 life. So yeah, he was ramping up to Emrakul. Um, he has his win condition. I'm just going to go ahead and concede game. So, yeah, let me know what you guys would have taken out of his hand when I uh, thought seized him. I've always wondered about that. So, not exactly the greatest combo player. The combo that I'm limited to is Time Seed and very, very old school Doomsday. And I wasn't very good at the doomsday. So, yeah. Uh, that's it for this one. We'll see you again shortly.